Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Batman Arkham Origins again and this is continuing from last time so let's just... Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Is that Harley Quinn? Bad day, huh? Cops in the city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting little thunderbolts and wanted party crashes screaming through your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting. Not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. Enjoy. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona, and rethink your whole identity? Yeah, I know how that feels. <laughs> and as you Am I identifying with a mad fictional character? Yes, I think I am. Your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Okay, I'm gonna need more specific. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, let's all change. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now is this why she gets the wrong end of the stick and thinks that bad he likes her? Bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, crawl, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Um... How does that make you feel? And there was supposed to be more there, but we kind of skipped I feel it. Adrift, oh, maybe not. Floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. You know, some people you say understand. this game You're isn't the best. Like, well, yeah, it's rough around the edges, but <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really enjoying Free it, and I didn't falling. think I would. And I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, 
I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty wow. name. Do your friends call you Harley? I don't have friends. I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley. You got one now. Ah, oh, that's adorable. She's gonna break him out. Because he, she thinks it's about her. Wow. <laughs> We have to relive this again every single game. I know it's who Batman is, but friggin' hell. Anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back the precinct. Justice for Alfred, I swear. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. Hmm. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never no, I won't. I just want to get out there and do outside stuff. You know how it is. So I take it you won't be testing it then? It's called field testing, Alfred. I did actually walk over to the testing area and then I just couldn't be bothered, so we didn't. I need to find Bane. Is the tracker responding? Not at present, I'm afraid. Let me know if anything changes. Anything. You'll know as soon as I do, sir. I promise. I don't like this. How are you doing down here, Alfred? Same as ever, sir. Though, I must say, the cave becomes rather chilly in the winter. I could look into building some more heaters. Mm, the energy consumption would raise too many eyebrows of water and power. No, I shall have to soldier on. Oh, bless him. Well, anyway, guys, we are slowly coming to the end of the video. To rather interesting technology. Please like, ever, and subscribe us, and come back for the next one. It. Thank you, and That's goodbye. Some come of tonight's events. Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting...